What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you how you can use the min and the max functions while ignoring error values by using the aggregate function. So when you do a normal max function and you have it divided by zero error or a and hashtag and a error in your value in your range of cells, you get an error. So same thing with the min, you get an error. But you can actually use the aggregate function to do the calculation while ignoring these errors. So to do this, do equals aggregate. And then I'm just going to press tab to finish the um, function and open, do the first open parentheses. The first argument is a number that corresponds to what you want to calculate. So in this situation, we want to calculate the max. So we're just going to type 4 and comma to get to the next argument. Then the next argument is a number that corresponds to what you'd like to ignore. Um, so in this situation, you just want to ignore error values, but as you can see, there are other options as well. So you can ignore hidden rows, you can ignore hidden rows, error values, and SS subtotals, um, and more, or ignore hidden rows in error values, for example. Um, in this situation, we just want to ignore error values, so I'm going to do six. And then the comma for the next one, the array is range of cells that you want to do the calculation on. So here you can see that. Um, and then the next argument is is argument is optional as you can tell by how it is in brackets and is only needed for the calculations that are array functions. So for example, um, if you're doing if you're doing the aggregate function and you want to use a small function and you want to find the second smallest value, you put two, um, but this is not needed for the min function. So we're just going to ignore it and then close parentheses. And then that is the max ignoring the error values. And then to find the min ignoring the error values, we do the same thing and then aggregate to find the min it's five and then comma to ignore the error values six comma and then the array and then close parentheses that's the min ignoring the error values and there you have it this there's an example of how you can use the aggregate function to find the max of a series of, of cells while ignoring the error values and the min as well. So with that being said, I really hope that you found this quick tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any suggestions or um, concerns. Thank you so much. Have a great day.